Hi folks, this is Mark by Mark A. Foster PhD for the Maoist Third Worldist Collective. Wanted to uh, bring people up to date on a story that was uh, just released uh, yesterday uh, and then uh, repeated in a somewhat qualified form by the New York Times today. The story originally uh, came from the Washington Post. And uh, basically, um, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Uh, certainly, it was not, not a surprise to me, uh, given uh, Israel's long track record uh, of warfare against uh, the countries and peoples uh, in its region. And here it is. It's happened once again at night. At night. Israel allegedly dropped white phosphorus bombs on Lebanon. Now, problem. White phosphorus is generally used during the day, not at night. And so the only reason why Israel would be using white phosphorus during the night would be slaughter to clear out an area in preparation for further war crimes. And of course, one could argue that this entire war against Gaza is in itself a war crime. I would certainly make that argument. Um, but it's a real tragedy. And again, I will include a link uh, to a story um, on, in the Washington Post and also a story in the New York Times, and also a link uh, to a video on YouTube from Breaking Points, which goes into the into this event in more detail. I would recommend that all of you watch that video from Breaking Points. I would not ordinarily recommend a video from Breaking Points, but uh, this video is, I think, very important, and so I will recommend it. Um, I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, what do you say to something like that? Um, white phosphorus is a horrendous chemical weapon. Uh, its uses in most contexts are outlawed, completely outlawed. Joe Biden supplied Israel with the white phosphorus. And he did so under the pretext that he was protecting the United States. How is Israel bombing Lebanon with white phosphorus protecting the United States? If you are as confused as I am, then we are not alone. Everyone that I've watched and admittedly, I don't watch a lot of right-wing propaganda channels, but everyone that I have watched has expressed complete and utter confusion and dismay that Israel would have done this. I mean, Israel hasn't even used white phosphorus in Gaza. Uh, Who say they won't? But again, that's speculative. I have no idea if they plan on doing that. King Bibi might do anything. I think he is completely out of control. Part of it is because, as I have mentioned before, uh, King Bibi is actually a relative moderate in his coalition in the Likud party. His coalition is made up of a lot of parties further to his right, and King Bibi is afraid that if he does not act as warlike as he has been acting, that he might lose power. And if there is one thing that we know about King Bibi, it is that he loves his power. He does not want to lose power. So I guess I made this podcast out of utter disgust. It is a further example 
of wine from the river to the sea, there should only be Palestine. If the Israelis, people who are now Israelis, in particular, I'm talking about Israeli Jews, not Israeli Palestinians, elect to stay in a new Palestine, I think they should be allowed to do so. That's obviously not my decision. But of course, there is no Palestine. So all that I'm saying is speculative. Nothing that I'm saying is grounded in reality. Will there be a new Palestine? I don't see how that will happen, at least not under the present climate. And so, once again, we have a first world country, Israel, bombing a third world country, Lebanon, with white phosphorus, which is illegal under international agreements and carries stiff penalties and was provided to Israel by Biden. And because of the allegation by Biden that he was doing it to support U.S. national interests, he was able to bypass Congress. So Congress had no say in this. Now, say he did not bypass Congress. Say he took the matter to Congress. Does anybody really believe that Congress would not have supported him? I don't. Of course Congress would have supported him, but he wanted to get it to them quickly. I have no idea what the private conversations are between Joe Biden and King Bibi. I wish I did. I wish I were a fly on the wall in either Joe Biden's office or King Bibi's office, and I could tell you exactly the words that were exchanged between those two men, if you want to call them men. I would call them boys. I would call them boys because of their level of complete immaturity. Killing innocent civilians, destroying, leveling buildings in Lebanon. And why? Why? Those civilians never did anything. They are simply an obstacle for political Zionism. They are simply an obstacle for Israel achieving its goals of dominating the entire Near East. So I literally don't know what else to say. And that being the case, I will ends it there this is mark by mark a foster phd for the maoist third worldist collective have a pleasant day and an even better day tomorrow